dear learners as we all know massive open online courses also known as moocs have revolutionized the world of online learning catering to an enormous scale and diversity of learners including school and college level students teachers working professionals and other eager learners some of these moocs utilize learner centric pedagogies which have been shown to provide a better learning experience for learners here in this session we will walk you through our learner centric mooc model also called as lcm model utilized in this course we will also take you through the format and sequence of this course which will make it easy for you to navigate through the course before we discuss more on it let us start with the reflection spot list some of the features of a learner centric mooc which you may have experienced in another course or you may be able to objectively extrapolate you may pause the video here to answer this reflection spot you may have come up with various approaches such as short videos and practice questions active discussion forums frequent interactions with instructors immediate feedback and additional learning resources all of these are relevant learner centric strategies and we have packaged all of these strategies and more into our learner centric mooc model the learning activities in the learner centric mooc model are designed from the perspective of the learner and to address their learning needs goals and interests of diverse learners the model consists of four learner centric structural elements including learning dialogues also known as leds learning by doing activities also known as lbds learning extension trajectories also known as lxts and learner experience interactions also known as lxis we will now discuss each of these structural elements in detail learning dialogue or led promotes concept acquisition through learner interaction each led consists of a short video providing conceptual knowledge with explicit reflection spots for you to express prior conceptions perform micro practice or reflect thus you express your thinking and articulate your reasoning while interacting with these leds now where will you find these leds on the course portal on the home page of the course the left hand side panel shows the course outline when you scroll down this course outline you will find the week wise content once you click on the desired week you will find all the learning dialogues for that week numbered sequentially for example for week 1 here the leds have been numbered as led 1.1 led 1.2 and so on when you click on any one of these leds the respective led will open up as mentioned earlier each led will contain a reflection spot in between to promote your engagement and articulation you should pause here and respond to the question or activity before you continue where the instructor addresses common expected responses and summarizes the concept in the rest of the led every led is followed by a learning by doing also called as lbd activity these lbds are non graded formative assessment activities which provide you with frequent and multiple opportunities to practice apply your learning and receive feedback on your work now where will you find these lbds once again on the left hand side panel in the week wise content you will find the respective lbds immediately after each corresponding led as you see here there are practice questions for led 1.1 immediately after led 1.1 and so on for all the others when you click on any one of these lbds here the respective lbd activity will open here which provides an opportunity for immediate application or integration of knowledge 
as you attempt and submit your answers, you will receive an immediate, constructive and customized feedback for each LBD to help you understand the rationale and improve on your learning. Learning extension trajectories or LXTs are mechanisms to address the diversity of learners in a MOOC and their learning needs. LXTs will consist of multiple types of resources such as readings, videos or links with specific identified goals such as ensuring prerequisites or advancing the depth or breadth of your existing knowledge etc. These LXTs are followed by a graded assimilation quiz also called as AQ to ensure that you have assimilated the key concepts. Where will you find these LXTs? Once again, in the course outline panel, you will find a separate unit for the week which will contain all the LXTs for the week. Every week will have two to three LXT resources. You are most welcome to go through all of these resources provided each week. However, for grading purposes, you will need to go through only one LXT and do the corresponding assimilation quiz. Each week, you will also find instructions and information for the respective LXTs and AQs in the beginning of the same unit. When you click on one of these LXTs, you will find detailed information on what that particular LXT entails so that you can make a decision if you would like to learn more on the same or not. As observed here, this LXT 1.1 contains a list of links to yearly reviews on a topic. After you are done going through LXT of your own choice, you proceed to take the assimilation quiz. The corresponding assimilation quizzes or AQs are placed immediately after the respective LXTs. As you click on one of these AQs, the quiz will open up which will contain questions based on that particular LXT. You may attempt the AQ multiple times, however the last quiz score attempted before the deadline will be considered for final grading. Learner Experience Interaction or LXI has been designed to cultivate peer learning through focused discussion. An LXI will consist of a focused question which will guide your discussion on a given topic and hence prevent scattered discussion threads. This will also help in eliciting your diverse views or experiences. We also encourage you all to interact with your peers by viewing and responding to others' posts to leverage peer learning. In an LXI, the focus question and subsequent discussion is followed by a short graded activity called Reflection Quiz or RQ to ensure your participation on the discussion forum. In this quiz, you need to reflect on your LXI interactions by answering specific questions related to your experience on the discussion forum. There are two ways to reach to the LXIs. One is through the ask a question present on the course homepage which will take you to the discussion forum. Details on how to join a group and participate on the discussion forum has been provided under general instructions in the course outline. And the other way to reach to the LXIs is again through the left panel of the course outline. LXIs are also present in the same unit as LXTs for every week. If you click on it, you will reach the page for the respective LXI, which will also have the description of the focus question and instructions for posting the comments and instructions for peer discussion. We encourage you to contribute to the forum by answering some of the questions that your peers may post. This will further enhance your learning experience in this course. The reflection quiz based on the week's LXI can be found immediately after the LXI in the same unit for the corresponding week. Once you click on the reflection quiz, it opens up for you to attempt the quiz. Again, you may attempt the quiz multiple times, however, the last quiz score attempted before the deadline will be considered for final grading. You will also have one graded knowledge quiz every week, which will be based on the concepts covered in the whole week. 
You will find the knowledge quiz again in the course outline panel in the same unit containing LXTs, AQs, LXI and RQ for the week. Once you click on it, the quiz will open up for you to attempt. Similar to assimilation quiz and reflection quiz, you may attempt the knowledge quiz multiple times. However, the last quiz score attempted before the deadline will be considered for final grading. Detailed instructions on the overall grading policy and other information related to the course is available in the course handout which has been placed in the unit named general instructions. We hope that after going through this session, you would have become familiar with the upcoming course structure and its elements which will help you in navigating through the course. In case you have any further questions, confusions on the format of the course, please do not hesitate to ask them on the forum by clicking on ask a question and the course team will address your queries at the earliest. Thank you.